Hi and welcome to the first video for 2023's editorials. In this video, we're going to cover the business benefits of using cloud-based food and beverage technologies. Also joining me is Mark Fancourt from Food and Bev Tech and also Jay Sherman from Shiji Enterprises. Make sure you check out Jay's article as well, which is, I think you'll find a very interesting piece covering food and Bev technology. And also they'll be joining me in the podcast and we also have our infographic for you all to download. It's important for hotels to keep up with the latest technologies in order to streamline their operations and improve their customer experience. Moving from legacy point of sale systems to cloud-based solutions can be a great place to start. One of the biggest benefits is cost savings. With cloud solutions, hotels only pay for what they use and they can scale up or down as needed. This can be a significant cost saving compared to purchasing and maintaining on property software and hardware options. In addition to cost savings, cloud solutions are also easier to set up and use. It's because they are accessed through a web browser where there's no need to worry about installing software or dealing with any compatibility issues. This can save time and resources, which allows hotels to better focus on running their operation and business. Another benefit of the cloud is that it's always up to date. Because the software is hosted and maintained by the provider, hotels don't have to worry about applying any updates or patches. This helps ensure that they're always using the latest software version with the latest features and of course security enhancements. If hotels are currently using a legacy system, it can be a challenge and they may wonder how to make the switch to cloud. The first step is that they have to assess the current system and identify the areas that will improve with a cloud solution. This could include the actual point of sale, inventory, and even customer relationship management. Once hotels have identified areas where they'll benefit from cloud, it's time then to start looking for the right provider. There's many cloud providers out there, so it's important that hotels do their research and choose a provider that's going to be reliable and shows a good track record. When making the switch, it's important to plan and test thoroughly. This could involve importing data from your existing legacy system, training staff on the new systems, and setting up any necessary integrations. By planning and testing, hotels can ensure a smooth transition and start reaping the benefits of cloud as soon as possible. When it comes to restaurant operations, today's modern environment is highly complex and there's an extensive range of technology available specifically to support the restaurant or restaurateur or food and beverage operator at an individual level or at scale. Uh, some of the key considerations of course are, are the traditional point of sale which tends to be the, the center of food and beverage technology um, focus but beyond that there's a wealth of other technology that really brings greater capability to your operation. Uh, one of the things that is extremely important today and, and continuing to emerge is uh, reservations and dining room software uh, and the ability to, to make reservations and in today's world even take deposits and handle cancellations and uh, charges against cancellations, particularly if you're in a high demand uh, restaurant environment. The other aspect that needs to be considered seriously today is, is distribution. Now, we tend to talk about distribution in, in the hotel side of the hospitality industry, but this is becoming of increasing importance to uh, the restaurant sector. Uh, guests, in the same way that they like to self-serve and make their own reservations for most things in their life, whether it, whether it be a hairdresser's appointment, a doctor's appointment, or, or a hotel room, uh, also like to be able to do the same for their restaurants. And the main driver of that is that they want to know and they don't want to arrive at your restaurant to find that they can't uh, get a seat and have to move on. Time is money, and certainly from the restaurant operator's perspective, it's, uh, it's an extremely important strategy to be able to better forecast your business and predict your revenue flows. Um, other solutions that have emerged are uh, checklists and service management styles of technology that give you the ability to uh, automate and, and record uh, your preparations for operation, even down to hygiene and uh, hygiene standards that stay on logs and, and can, can eventually be 
demonstrated to health inspectors and the like uh, to show that you are complying with local local codes. Uh, the other uh, the other side of things, of course, is uh, your ordering, uh, ordering and pickup, which may not be appropriate for, for every restaurant. It may not necessarily always suit the style of product that you want to deliver. But for those who are in that space, uh, the entire process of being able to review the menu, uh, order items from the menu, have a, have a shopping cart, and then the back of house of automation of time to preparation and delivery and communication with the customer to collect those orders uh, in a timely basis. So despite the fact that you're not serving your food in the dining room, uh, the food will reach the customer in the best condition you can hope for uh, a takeout type of an order. Uh, other aspects in the back of the house that are extremely important, but often neglected is proper supply chain management uh, technology. Again, if you're marrying the front of house and demand through both your uh, dining operations and your point of sale business, then it makes sense for you to have uh, robust uh, purchasing software, which extends right through to uh, menus, uh, menu preparation, menu costing. Uh, profitability and a wealth of empirical data that helps you control where most of the cost goes into your business, which is uh, in the back of the house, the storerooms, the fridges, and helps you with uh, stock takes uh, and keeping a track of making sure that your produce is as fresh as it can be so that the food that hits the table is of, high, of the highest quality. Uh, taking that a step further, we get into smart bar operations where it's now possible to actually track uh, on consumption the uh, the pour from your various bottles, whether it be a wine or whether it be a spirit bottle and, and tighten up some of the control there in terms of what you sell versus what you actually consume to make sure that your bar operations are more highly profitable. There's a lot more, you know, as we get into the infrastructure side of the business, um, we get into the back of the house, even things as as, uh, as important as your audio environments and more optimized uh, technology platforms and solutions that uh, handle that aspect of the business, as well as uh, your human resources, payroll and scheduling software, which has made large advances. And depending on where you operate in the world, uh, there's a lot of compliance that needs to be addressed in your scheduling operations. And certainly modern technology today is addressing that directly, as well as being able to allow your staff to see their schedules, change their schedules, swap their schedules, and, and, and also support just a general across business communication platform in your overall operations uh, and restaurant environment. Considering an enterprise solution really depends on the company's current situation and their growth plans. Even a single individual restaurant can start thinking about an enterprise solution and planning for that if they have those expansion and growth plans. Oftentimes, it's important not even to worry about what your plans or your future are as long as you have the ability to move towards that because when picking a solution, you want the ability to grow as much as possible. No one buys a studio apartment for a brand new family. You try to plan for growth and it's the same thing. Even an individual restaurant, ideally it's going to be successful. So you want that ability. So I think it's important from day one to start planning and thinking about that. And it's also important to start thinking about decisions you make at that first location. Are these decisions that are something that can expand and grow to an enterprise solution. I think oftentimes small individual locations or one or two locations, and it's understandable, get very caught up in what is directly in front of them, just focusing on the road in front of them that they don't look at the bigger picture. They make decisions that limit them, whether it's a basic point of sale that can't grow to keep up with them or hiring decisions. So I think it's important to always expect good growth and to imagine what you can achieve. So that way, when you do achieve that, you are prepared. When implementing an enterprise solution, especially to into an existing enterprise, an existing business that already has multiple locations, 
the decision of whether it's going to be something gradual or done quickly, it's actually something I would say in between. One of the very first important things is to, again, take the time to think about what you want to achieve and what you are looking to, to move forward with. So it needs to be gradual in the beginning or really thoughtful in the beginning. So that way you can take the time to think about every decision, every question that comes up and how it will affect your current and future business as well. If you have five, 10 restaurants, you have to think to yourself, the decisions I'm making, does this make sense for every restaurant? And if it doesn't make sense for every restaurant, can it make sense for every restaurant? Is it something that will grow? So the very first step is that planning process. I always think that is the most important step is that you're actually taking the time to plan and think ahead. Now, most enterprise systems do have flexibility to change, but you want to take the time to plan ahead and you want to take your time on the first location. So you're still in that gradual stage going slowly. You've taken the time to plan everything without any restaurant being involved. And then you put it into that first restaurant, that first location. And this is where you see the decisions you made. Are they working? Then you move on to your second, maybe third. But by the time you get to even third restaurant, this is where you start moving quickly. Because the benefit of an enterprise solution and a well thought out plan is that the rollout can be very quick. And at that point, you do want to move quickly. The sooner you have everyone in your company working on the same system, using the same operations and the same decisions, it's much easier for your staff, whether it's your support staff at a corporate office or it's the individual staff at the restaurant, everyone being on the same page is going to be very important. So once you have the first or second restaurant finished, moving quickly is important. And with an enterprise solution that should be capable because the decisions, the framework, that skeleton of the decisions have been made. So each additional restaurant should be relatively quick to roll out. And the sooner you do that, the more, the better you are prepared to move forward with your new system. When switching from a legacy system to a cloud-based point of sale, it's important to consider any necessary integrations. For example, hotels will need to integrate with their PMS or their CRM to ensure that guest profiles are syncing accurately and are being reflected accurately at the point of sale. So it's important for hotels to identify their single guest profile source of truth. Is it going to be the PMS or the CRM? Once that's been established, then you connect to the POS and other systems to that source. It's also important to consider the payment solutions available with point of sale. Many solutions offer integration with popular payment merchants to make it easy to accept payments online or through the point of sale system. It's a good idea to check with the provider to see which payment solutions are available and how they best can be integrated into your systems. In addition to integration with other systems and payment solutions, it's also important to consider the overall security of the point of sale. Look for providers that can offer secure hosting, data protection and regular security updates to keep the business and the customer data safe. Uh, payment in the industry is changing a lot and um, you know, one of the trends that we're seeing now is many of the point of sale vendors uh, are starting to either uh, white label themselves with a payment platform or in some cases they've been based on a uh, payment platform of which the point of sale technology sits on top of. Uh, it's not necessary to say that that's right or wrong for you but it's certainly an option and it simplifies uh, the deployment of the technology into your restaurant environment beyond uh, beyond a platform that might uh, provide that mechanism within within the point of sale the restaurant management system uh, the next level is is getting into uh, payment processing in general which is a, a fairly complex area of technology today because there are a number of layers of technology that produce uh, that environment however if you do operate at scale there are significant opportunities in um, cost optimization, leveraging your volume and working with a provider who uh, can sort of shorten, shorten the distance between you and the processor and pass on a lot of those cost savings into your business.
Uh, there are even solutions out there now that uh, work uh, for jurisdictions that allow you to ask your customers to pay for the fees um, as part of the settlement process. Of course, beyond the mechanics of the straight payment, then it becomes uh, important to consider the ways that the customer can pay. And in the modern restaurant environment, that might be uh, online from your website. Uh, it might be from the mobile device remotely. It might be from a mobile device uh, within the outlet, whether that be one that your staff are actually delivering to the customer or giving them the ability to actually make that payment from their own device themselves, which then steps you into uh, split checks and, and all those sorts of um, operational complications that can come up. So there's some of the key things that uh, payment payment solutions are addressing today. So to, in summary, think about the, the actual transaction processing side of the business and where you might be able to optimize and make some savings there. And then on the, on the operational and customer facing side, think about a wide range of ability to pay in different uh, formats for both your staff and the customer. And then finally, um, it probably goes without saying, but of course, uh, the way that customers are able to pay today continues to morph. Uh, you know, lots of different organizations have some type of a payment platform and, and even extending into the crypto world where we're actually seeing now in the better restaurants, uh, almost sort of a, a membership style approach to high-end restaurants using NFT technology to uh, almost auction off uh, high demand times and guarantee the customer uh, access to your restaurant. So that takes you from simple cash all the way out to crypto uh, if, if you're in uh, that class of restaurant and you've got, got that type of demand. One area where cloud-based food and beverage technology can be especially beneficial is mobile ordering. With mobile ordering solutions, customers can place their orders and make payments through their smartphones, their devices, making the process quick and more convenient. There's several benefits to using mobile ordering. First, it improves the customer experience by making it easier for customers to place orders and of course to pay. This then leads to increased satisfaction and ongoing loyalty. Second, mobile ordering can increase efficiency by streamlining the order and payment process. This saves time for both the customer and the staff, which allows for the business to process more orders in a shorter amount of time. And finally, mobile ordering can also increase revenues by making it easier for customers to actually place the order and pay. A mobile ordering solution allows customers to really place their orders at any time they like, even perhaps when the business is closed. And this can lead to obviously increased sales and revenues. In conclusion, cloud-based food and beverage technology can offer significant cost savings, ease of use, and always up-to-date software. Moving to the cloud can streamline operations and improve the customer experience. While making the switch from a legacy system may take some planning and effort and time, the benefits are really worth it. Plenty of cloud-based point-of-sale providers offer modern solutions, and as always, it's a great idea to do research and choose a provider that best meets the needs of your businesses. Consider factors such as the available features, pricing, and integrations with other systems, and of course, support. With the right solution, hotels can improve the customer experience, increase efficiency, and drive revenue for your business. Thanks for watching. That's all we've got for today's video. Make sure you check in again next month for our editorial. And until next time, it's bye for now.